Angel Love, hey friend. Okay, capo two for all three songs um, this week. Um, first things first, when you're doing Let It Be, I want you to know, even before you start, that the second progression is not identical to the first. So you have C gaff, then you have C G F C. So I'm gonna quiz this, I'm gonna quiz you on this, excuse me, on Friday. Um, each drum once, of course. When I find myself so when we warm up on Friday, I want you to play this whole song for me, from memory, and I want you to get the second progression right the first time. Let me see. Okay, I'm yours, you do really well, and I'm going to quiz you on this too, but the things to remember are that the first and third verse, the singing starts, but the middle verse, the guitar starts. So first verse is, well, you don't know me, but the second verse is, so you want to practice this beginning before you do the whole song and then do the third verse, which is, um, Well, I've been spending way too long. So I want you to play that song for me on Friday, but be aware of those ahead of time so that you don't have to pause during the song. And then I want you to do Ramblin' Man. So Ramblin' Man starts with four finger G. And then you shift down to four finger F, C at nine, and back. Okay, but you're going to give it that nice drum pattern that you're good at. So it's going to be... that we talked about the transition you're going from C to G I want you to do silent practice just with those two fingers and I want you to practice moving them back and forth not too fast as a pair so it's not one and then the other it's both simultaneously okay then I want you to go from C to G but just leave the pinky out so it's a simpler G and when you add the pinky back in I want you to add it as an afterthought it's the final thing that you think about, not the first. Then try transitioning with the strum, like. It's almost like you can wait an instant to put the pinky down. And then fold it back into C gex. So C, no gaps here, no gap. You gotta just brush yourself, it's confidence too. Boom, again. One, two, three, four, no gap. Go back to four finger G and D and two Gs. So that's the whole chorus. Strum that without singing, make it feel easy. <clears throat> work your C to G a bunch and work the C gec part of the progression. Um, and the only difference in the verse is that you start with G, but you don't shift all the way down for the F. You just go um, G, C at nine, G, G. So that becomes your first line, but everything else is identical. So if you want to add the singing, it's going to be starting right with the first chord. Lord, I was, and it's higher for you. You're going to go. Lord, I was born in the that up. C gay. Now for your verse, just leave the F out. Was a down in That's the only change. Let's do that again. My So focus mostly on playing it instrumental, 
letting your memory take charge and drive it because it's all on your fingertips. And then we will add your vocal on um, Friday. And you want to keep doing those little exercises from last week on what's up. So that's okay, G string, seventh fret, high E string, seventh fret. And so I cry. And so I wake. And I say, hey. And then you want to put it to the chords. Just get your G ready and go. And so I cry. And so I wake. And I said, hey. Thinking down on those high notes. And then just fold it into the whole chorus. And so I cry sometimes when I'm bed just to get out of So continue to do those exercises as well. So for Friday, let it be from memory, getting the second progression right. I'm yours from memory, getting the verses right, where you the first and second and third verse you sing before the chords, but the middle verse is the anomaly. You do the chords first. I want you to anticipate that and get it right the first time. And then Ramla Man instrumental with some vocals if you can. Uh, and then what's up with that little vocal exercise. Okay, friend, uh, sorry about the internet crash. I'll see you next week. I mean, I'll see you Friday.